Good morning, my Gemini Collective. I hope you have a wonderful day, Gemini. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring -a -ling -a -ling. I'm seeing 318 here, and y'all, I don't know my scripture, so if there's a... a a scripture quote out there that you like that's 318 that could mean something and y'all forgive me for not knowing but yeah i'm a spiritual person not religious but that 318 i was drawn to i felt like it's scripture for somebody it's gonna mean something for somebody 4382 2348 234 things coming uh, into fruition things going the way they go and there could be a little accelerated bump up Okay, th th okay, Gemini's, good. I'm glad that came up. Uh, you know, this, I use the terminology when you feel like you're being held back, when you feel like you're stagnant, think of it as a slingshot, okay? Sometimes you are held back. Any hater energy, anything like that that's trying to hold you back, is, think of it as a slingshot. Sometimes you need to let things move forward that's going to hold you back in order to propel you further. In that hold back energy, there's something you need to learn. There's a, a message, a lesson you need to take from that, so learn from it. A lot of it, see your, see that stagnation as that freaking slingshot energy to propel your ass forward with more growth and abundance, right? It's going to be that little kick in the ass that you need. It's going to actually propel you forward. But if you're feeling restricted, just know, you know, you're being held back, but other things are being moved forward. So when you, when that slingshot goes... You know how the fuck it goes, but there's also a kickback to that, too. So sometimes whatever is restricting you or holding you back or trying to hold you back, as that shoots you forward, that's going to have a kickback to it. Just remember that, Gemini, because that's what I feel with that two, three, four. Like things were going good, things were going good. Then you might have had a moment of stagnation and then boom, you're going to take four steps forward like boom. You know what I mean? Into the eight energy. I'm seeing six, one, six. 69, that yin and yang, sometimes that's what you need to learn when you have stagnation. There's a lesson. There's something there you need to learn. If you don't know what it is, ask God for guidance to figure out what the lesson is, okay? What you need to learn from that and grow from it. Grow and go from it. Uh, 414, I'm um, seeing 66, 6616, uh, 462, 264, 2014. Eight, eight again, eight, eight. Uh, yeah, things coming to a completion in order for things to end. But I really feel that two, three, four energy, Gemini, if you're feeling restricted, just think of it as a fucking slingshot, okay? Because it's going to propel your ass forward. It's going to like, um, <laughs> you know, you feel like you're being held back, but it's just, it, it, everything needs to go the way it needs to go. There's a lesson you need to learn, something in that situation. And sometimes that's just spirit holding you back, okay? In order to get that propulsion, two, three, four, and then you go to eight. It's like you're going to jump four steps automatically. What's that? Uh, like game shoots and ladders where you can like move four steps or something like that. Kind of look at it as, as like the gang, uh, uh, the gang of life, the game of life, Gemini's. Uh, where's my song deck? Here's my song deck. Lyrical life notes, guys and guys. Uh-oh, Jim and I, what pulled up with that one? Three of cups, three of cups. Um, three energy. Some of you with that, uh, uh, if it's partnerships, associations, that might be what's holding you up right now. Restrictions in that. Uh, but remember, the restrictions are there for a reason. I want you to start looking at any setbacks as that freaking slingshot energy. Okay, there's still a lesson you need to learn or, you know, divine timing when the will of fortune shows up. Sometimes you just need to, uh, <laughs> you just need to let God work its, uh, uh, work his miracle, right? Uh, but will you love me tomorrow? With the three of cups there, if it's stagnation in love, right? There's a reason. There's a reason, okay, with this being in reverse. Maybe you've already decided, uh, no, you don't love this person. That <laughs> Maybe that's a lesson you need to learn. Maybe there's something you need to, to um, 
see the truth in, get the, yeah, whatever it is. If it's not love related, it could be with friendships. It could be with family associations, you know, whatever it is, that three of cups energy, that stagnation is for a reason, but it's like, you know, there's no love there. So a lot of you are going to be getting the, the green light to move forward, right? If you feel like something or, or an idea or a thought or a person, place or thing was holding you back, mm -mm. it's for a reason. And some of you, it's to know, nope. That's not where I needed to put my time and attention, because, yeah, you shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium, right? You got to learn to use what is around you, Gemini's. And if stagnation happens, it happens for a fucking reason, okay? If you're drawn to take a rest, take a break. Do some learning. A lot of you might have been drawn to uh, study up on some things, to work on some things. I'm definitely feeling that emperor and empress energy stepping in. For a lot of you who are emperors and empresses, right? You're ready, but sometimes you have that last bit of stagnation. But two, three, four, and then boom, you're going to get like shot four, four steps ahead. Spirit's like, here we go. We're going to give you a little uh, head start here. We're going to give you a little boost, right? Uh, like a rocket in the ass. You're going to get that boost. You're going to get that boost. What else do you have for my Geminis here? Geminis, I'm sorry. I know you are Gemini and Capricorn. You all made my channel. And uh, we've kind of got out of the Gemini readings. But, yo, know, everything happens for a reason. Peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love brings calmness to your soul. Yeah, come on, Geminis. We know sometimes we got to set our ass down. For some of you with that peacefulness, right? If you were in a yeah, that three of cups energy, right? Uh, feeling heartbroken or feeling left out or, or having to pull your love from somebody. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love brings calmness to your soul. So maybe you had to pull yourself from people, places, and things that were just fucking with your heart, right? Don't go breaking my heart. Friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So if you're held back and it's due to a partnership or relationship, it's because you need to learn the lesson there. Some of y'all, it's that self-love language. You need to realize, you know, it just isn't working, right? There's no reciprocation of that love. If you're not feeling love and you're giving all this love, you're going to stop doing that. Right? You're going to get out of that energy, Gemini. <sighs> Let's use the... Uh... Oh, did we put the bell on this shit? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Okay, Gemini's, I'm drawn to these dice again. I'm seeing 414-44-111. One 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 four 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 one four. Uh, it's that progression. A lot of you are getting ready. That slingshot's getting ready to let you fucking go forward. Uh, so that could be why some of you have been drawn back your energy, right? Spirit said, "Take a break. Take a break." There's some messages coming in. There's some good news coming in, but you gotta rest up. You gotta rest up and finally put it into a cycle. Work, love, life on that, gems. Uh, but it's beautiful energy, uh, 41, the one one ones, the four four fours, and yeah, remember, we had two, three, four, and then you skip to the eight, right? Some of you are going to get a nice accelerated boost forward. Yeah, a nice accelerated boost forward to actually help you end a situation where there was some fucking stagnation, okay? Okay, Gemini, and, and that's the lesson. That stagnation is there for a reason. You have to learn that. If you're feeling stuck, there's a lesson. So you know what? Say your little prayers for you go to bed at night. God, I don't know what uh, I need to be doing here. I don't know what the lesson is. Uh, can you like point me in the right direction? Give me the sign. Some of you, 318. Um, it's scripture. That's going to mean something to somebody. 318. That's beautiful, Gemini's. I love that. Give us a quick message for Gemini. Gemini, I'm not going to spend too much time in your energy because I feel uh, you kind of know what's up. Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. You are going to get a release from this stagnation that you are in. 
But whose energy is that? Yeah, thank you, Gemini, here. You know, Five of Wands conflict. Now, conflict could be what is, like, holding you up right now, right? We got 5-5 five, five here, so expect the unexpected. Uh... This is like spirit wanting to bring balance in. This is like the universe trying to balance shit out on your behalf, Geminis. So a lot of you just got to sit back and let shit go. Right? Let spirit balance out uh, any conflict, any issues that you have. Because right now, with this Five of Pentacles and this Page of Cups, some of y'all could be getting out of a relationship or partnership. Work, love, life on this. Uh, this is just someone that you're dealing with that you had some close ties to. Because Gemini... What did I tell you about that slingshot energy? Sometimes when you feel your weakest and that you don't have any options, that's that slingshot effect, right? So spirit's going to let everyone else fight and show their ass around you while you're getting withdrawn in order to be propelled forward. Uh, six of pentacles here with the ace of pentacles. <laughs> catapulting your ass into that balance equal situation with abundance coming in, right? And abundance could be whatever it is for you. But this is leading to that seven of pentacles energy. What you've been waiting on. What you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting for. But you got to learn in the moments of stagnation that sometimes that's where the lessons need to be. Sometimes you're not given the opportunities yet because there's better opportunities out there, right? When that shoots you forward four steps, you're going to be in a different uh, playing field. You're going to have a different opportunity. For some of you, this is shooting far past what you thought you would get or far past what you were planning on shooting for. It's a beautiful energy there, Geminis, which is leading to abundance. But you got to learn from that stagnation. You know, if others try to hold you back, Right? Uh, that, that only works so long. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. And let's throw some uh, Jesus on this. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Gemini collective, right? This is spirit bringing in balance on your behalf. Sometimes that conflict isn't necessarily with you, Gemini. It could be what's going on around you. Other people trying to restrict you and hold you back. Work, love, life on that, right? Some of y'all that could be in love with this King of Cups in reverse. That's a beautiful energy, Gemini. Uh, let's see what we got on this Five of Cups and this Page of Cups. This current energy around you. The Fool in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, whatever someone tried to take from you, oh, you're going to get that shit back, Gemini. You're going to get that shit back. Covering this Five of Pentacles in reverse and this Page of Cups is reverse is the Fool and the Seven of Pentacles. If they tried to take from you, you're going to get that shit back, right? <laughs> you're going to get that shit back. And the shit thing is, motherfuckers going to be watching the whole time. If they thought they could keep you stuck and stagnant, um, some of them are going to see how spirit works, right? And the fact that I was John, drawn to that 318 for scripture, someone definitely handed it over to God, letting the universe take over and, and do its thing. But spirit had to hold some of y'all back. Sometimes it's, it's being held back, okay? You had to be kind of um, <laughs> muzzled, uh, just restricted for other things to move forward around you because that's going to bring better op options and better opportunities. What restricted you now is actually going to propel you into a far better situation that you probably could even imagine, right? Six of Pentacles, that's six energy with Geminis, right? Could be a life past six. Y'all beautiful energy here, Geminis. Let's end it with another Oracle deck. Geminis, that's beautiful energy. Stay in it. Revel in it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the stagnation. If you're not sure why you're stuck, as spirit... For a little bit of guidance. And you're going to be good. Okay, Spirit. Throw us another card down here for Jim and I. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go of any control. That stagnation is there for a reason. Because it's going to catapult you to better opportunities and better options. Right? Let go and let God. And some of y'all, you know, when that slingshot finally releases... And the longer you've been in stagnation, the more energy it has to propel you forward. Uh, when you let go and let God, right? And you see that path, like it's like a board game. Y'all are going to be getting one of them magical cards that propels you four or five steps further. further. And for a lot of you, that's what's going to help you win the game. Uh, number 27, which goes to nine. 
Gemini's, that's a beautiful energy. Claim that shit, Gems. Because that's beautiful. I love you, my Gemini collective. I wish nothing but the best for you. Thank you, Gemini's, for all your love and support. You and, you and Capricorn made my channel. Y'all got me going. Um, and you get that growth and blessing in your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gemini's, thank you, thank you. That's beautiful energy.